Welcome back to another University Deep Dive. Today, we're looking at the undergrad program for the University of Southern California, and we're joined by John Horton and Nicholas Sterling. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks so much. Yeah, we're super excited to have you guys. We obviously love learning more about all of these programs across the country. And to get us started, I'll turn it over to Spencer. Yeah. So, John and Nicholas, thanks again, guys, for your time today. Um, as always, as we do with our university deep dives, it's all about putting ourselves in the shoes of a prospective undergraduate real estate student or a prospective USC student, right? And, and helping them navigate what it means to be a real estate student at USC and what offerings they have and, and what the general outcomes are and uh, for, for undergraduate real estate students coming out of USC. So maybe we'll start with John, if that's okay. Um, that's great. so how would you, what does it mean, John, to be a undergraduate student studying real estate at the University of Southern California? So University of Southern California has a master's program in real estate development. And a lot of students were majoring for undergrad in Marshall, which is the business program. Uh, and, but they wanted that real estate focus. So USC has a unique offering that they created this major um that's solely focused on real estate development that's modeled off a major um program for the grad students and where they take that and defer it from like the typical um business major is they put it in the price school so that school focuses on public policy so we get to have this whole insight of public policy city planning what does it take to design the zoning laws which the typical real estate development student, they may focus more on like financial performance and stuff. We have that background in city planning that takes a different um, kind of route. And especially in LA, um, LA is a tricky city dealing with city council and all the different zoning laws. And so they really took it, uh, modeled it. What do you need to know to be a real estate developer within Southern California, going through all these processes and it's one of the best educations I could ever get. Looking at all these other schools, um, when I was going into uh, my undergrad program, I was looking and it's more business. And I'm like, where do I wanna go work after? I wanna stay in SoCal. And SC education was so tailored towards where I wanna go work that that's one of the reasons why SC was such a good fit for me. Yeah, yeah. That, so that's interesting. Now, l l let's dig into this a little bit more. Most universities that we talk to, undergraduate real estate education is either a concentration or it's a minor or or it's not even a, a formal uh, certificate. It's it. There are classes in real estate and a focus on real estate, but no true. This is an actual degree in real estate development, right? B red, I believe. I believe it's called. So so Nicholas, Correct. like. In terms of curriculum, what does that mean? Does that mean every class you're taking in your junior and senior year are real estate related? Or, or how many real estate courses are you taking? Um, and, and then we'll get into like when you have to declare this major. But first, like what does the curriculum look like for a BRED student at USC? Yeah, so John touched upon, you know, one of the key elements that, that differentiates, you know, our BRED, Bachelor's of Real Estate Development program from a lot of other programs that are, you know, real estate focused or real estate emphasized. So even at USC, our, our business school, Marshall School of Business, which I believe is you know in the top 20 for, for business schools in the country, you know, has a real estate emphasis. And then we also have a real estate program. So we we do have you know members from you know our community that are both on the business school side as well as this public policy development side. Um, and of course, having a real estate background. So it's a four-year degree program, the BRED. Um, and you know, from day one, the goal is to really build a community of, of real estate students at USC. And they, the program does a really good job, both extracurricularly and through the classroom, kind of providing that. So, you know, classes are very focused on product types, they're very focused on um, like development practices, um, a high current events focus on real estate from effectively your freshman year. So from a curriculum mm -hmm. perspective. What that really looks like is your freshman and sophomore year, you're looking at urban planning, um, development history, um, especially in Southern California, which is actually really interesting because Southern California, you know, has a ton of development history, which, you know, set the course of suburbanization and these big topics we're seeing. And then, you know, as you get into your junior and senior year, um, you're focusing more on that underwriting, the financial modeling component, 
you know, analysis for development, um, you know, all the all the the core finance skills that you kind of need to kind of enter the workforce sure. um, at the end. Yeah. So I'm su I'm surprised to hear uh, in your freshman year you're already taking real estate courses. So when do you declare, or is this as you're applying to USC, you say I want to be a real estate student? Is that, is that how it works, or at what point are you declaring this B Red uh, track? Yeah. So I I believe both John and I. I don't know, John, you can maybe say yes or no, but we were both admitted to USC with the BRED. Hmm. Um, oh, so sorry. even from like, did you transfer schools or? So I went in, I applied straight to SC as a um, bachelor in real estate development. Yeah, I believe USC, you could apply as undeclared and you have those two years to take general education classes before you have to declare your major. But most of the people in the program I've known since freshman year and some of my best friends are in the program. That's incredible, right? So there's very few seniors in high school yeah. that know where they want to go to school, let alone what they want to study. So both of you knew you wanted to go real estate. Let, let's now then put ourselves in the shoes of, of a junior or senior in high school. Uh, why should they study real estate? Let, let's put USC aside just for a second. Why should, John, let's let's ask this for you. What? Why should they study real estate in particular? So... I guess I can give a little personal background. Uh, growing up, I loved just looking at houses. I always was really fascinated. And like a little bit part of me wanted to become a real estate broker um, just to sell houses. You see all these like selling sunsets, all these shows. Um, and that kind of got me, I want to go look at houses. And so when I was considering college, the business, I was totally set on becoming a business major until I came across the real estate program. But I wanted to figure out how can I go start my business and go sell houses one day. And that kind of thought in high school took me to go search out a real estate degree. Since then, I've totally transitioned into like multifamily um, development, but it's still along that same route. I love looking at houses. I want to go build something one day. Where can I go learn all that in one education? Yeah, so that's, that's what really drove me. Yeah, you know, uh, there's this misconception in in the world that real estate means selling houses, right? And yeah. and, and there's Absolutely. nothing wrong with there's nothing wrong with that. But real estate is this much bigger world than than real estate agents. Um, but to your point, the built environment just in general is fascinating. And I think all of us who are real estate people, there's just something about real estate as an asset class that that's fascinating. And and I'm getting a little bit on a tangent, but I think it's because like th that is where we like the the um economy the 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 places where we live and we shop and we fall in love and we worship and we heal all that happens within real estate and so it's just intuitively an asset class that's of, of interest so if you're a freshman or if if you're a a junior or senior in high school and you're looking at your freshman year uh, real estate's a great thing to study. Now, Nicholas, what's your story? Like, how did you choose a real estate track before you went went to USC? Yeah, totally. So I went to high school in New York City, and you know, grew up there most of my life. Um, so I guess real estate is always kind of something that's that's you know the aspirational um, you know group of influential people in the city that are really you know focusing on that built environment. And I always think, you know, one of the things I really like about real estate is it, it's highly entrepreneurial. You know, of course, you know, these large real estate firms, you know, have these long term business plans that, you know, as an analyst, it's, you know, hard to really give your sense of, you know, sense of worth in that business practice. But, you know, effectively, right, everyone's creating these long term theories and these long term business plans for real estate. And that's, you know, a really exciting environment. And I think once I realized that, real estate is a business model that is so time tested and, and proven, right? Like real estate is, you know, from the beginning, it's, it's one of the earliest trades that's been available in our like economy. So yeah. it's one of those things that's kind of interesting to, you know, think of, for me, I was actually looking at other schools for business programs and, you know, coming to USC, I think finding this real estate program and, you know, having so many people that are so involved in it and just having it have such a presence was something that I was like, Hey, like maybe I should take a you know good second look at this and you know what four years later here I am. So. Here you are, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you 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 both declared real estate. You're you're B red students at USC. 
uh, you, you've got this curriculum that clearly is comprehensive, that's uh, within the, the public policy school. So you're learning about entitlements all the way through to the financial side of the business. What about the extracurriculars, right? So what support do you get outside the classroom? What opportunities do you have outside of the classroom to learn about and grow uh, as you prepare for, for your first real estate job beyond? Maybe to you, John, let's start with you. Extracurriculars at USC that, that, that are real estate related. So Nick and I are currently co-presidents of TRIA, which is the Trojan Real Estate Association. Um, that's the largest real estate um, undergrad club at USC. And kind of uh, coming into school, um, our counselors were like, go join this club. Uh, you have to go do something outside of school. And we we're like, I don't know. I kind of want to just go play basketball, like hang out, <laughs> hang out with my friends, not do much. Um, so I went and checked it out freshman year. And just had such a fun time there. Um, one of the things that TRIA really does well is they have networking events that bring in freshmen and sophomores. When you're new to real estate, you don't really have any understanding. And we go through and build connections and friendships at USC, while at the same time, just covering all of real estate as a generalized platform. So each week, uh, we'll have a speaker series where we'll bring in professionals anywhere from like five to seven professionals in different sectors. So we'll have a brokerage panel, a development panel, finance, investment. And then through the course of the your year, we switch through each sector. And so you really get a generalized sense of what you want out of real estate and where you want to go. And then a couple other programs will within TRIA, uh, we have Dining Society. And so that is kind of a one-on-one -on -one networking event where you go to dinner with a professional, mm -hmm. typically four to six students. Um, and so I was in charge of that last year and probably one of the best experiences I've ever had was just being able to connect with these professionals who will come back and just give you any advice, talk to you in a personal setting, having dinner. Um, so we'll go through like banking. I had no idea about banking and real estate. Went on one of these dinners and came out two hours later and thought I was a professional on baking, but <laughs> learned that there's so much more to know that you don't realize that's out there. So it really opens and broadens your horizon. Sure, sure. What about you, Nick? Let's like, what extracurriculars have been impactful to you in, in your budding real estate career? Yeah. So, I mean, again, you're speaking to probably two biased sources, co-presidents of, of uh, USC's real estate yeah. organization. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, in the end, you know, TRIA has had a huge impact. And I think one of the things that, you know, especially with TRIA, as you talked about, is a lot of our members, we have about, you know, 400 members, which, which I think speaks volumes about how our program has grown. You know, when John and I started, the, our program was nowhere near that size. I mean, I'd say, you know, 75% increase over the, over the course of our, our time. Okay. So, I mean, yeah. it, it's, it's been huge and just past month, you know, we had like a $10 million naming gift. Like it's, you know, one of those things that is really exciting to be a part of and kind of see the program grow from, you know, I think it was founded in 2015, 2014, where we had just the, the specific B red as opposed to, you know, the emphasis. Sure. So I think, you know, again, tree is really kind of in, at the intersection of, of both the academic side and the extracurricular side. Um, and we have a ton of programs, you know, for our, our younger members who we talked about have this, you know, conception of, oh, you know, like it's all residential real estate, single family, you know, and of course, while we, you, you know, a lot of people sometimes who will stay in single family will be more on the development side, of course, you know, focusing on master plan communities and whatnot. It's interesting to see how, you know, as they get more exposure, their, you know, mindset is shifting towards the more commercial side and, and some of the, you know, think bigger opportunities within real estate than just, you know, being a broker and selling homes. Sure, sure. So let's talk about what really matters here, and that's outcomes. All right. <laughs> so, Nicholas, you flew across the country to go to USC. Um, where are job opportunities at uh, coming out of, of your program, both in terms of firm type? Uh, are they going into development? Are they going to real estate private equity? Are they going into banking? Are they going into brokerage? And are they largely staying in Southern California or are, are they, they spreading out across the United States, the, the, the world? Talk to us, Nicholas, on, on that in terms of outcomes for, for B-RED students. Yeah, of course. I mean, I think I think it's fair to say that a lot of the people on the exit stay in Southern California. Um, 
it's interesting just again when you're making you know all these connections that are very la focused and and you know real estate is such a regional business at times you know with this market insight and just being able to know the facts and figures of a particular market adds a lot of value and that is something you walk away with from the b-red i mean it's by no means constraining we have people who are you know in new york of course doing you know some of the real estate investment banking stuff and you know we we do get a, a ton of people in the real estate private equity space i'd say um, but again, with this development background that has, you know, a very regional understanding of Southern California, of some of the requirements, we do get a ton of people who are, of course, focused on the development side, um, whether it's for, you know, a big developer, such as say a Heinz or, you know, otherwise uh, versus, you know, a small shop developer, which is very regionally focused as well. So, so we'll get kind of that mix of both. And, you know, we, of course, invite alumni back to speak and, that's really do where you do see a lot of the, you know, the, the company names that are kind of appearing and, and the well-known, you know, I guess you could say real estate household names that, sure, that kind of come sure. back. So, so my perception of USC real estate is that you got this powerhouse alumni contingent, uh, largely in, in California, but you, you, you run into USC real estate alum all, all across the country. Uh, John, what, what support, um, what interaction do you have from and with alumni of, of either the BRED or just USC in general? So I guess I could talk about like informational interviews, um, just going out, reaching out to people. People are very acceptive. Um, a lot of alumni are like, oh, I want to talk to you, see how USC is doing nowadays. Um, so on that front, it's really um, easy to reach out, build connections within the Southern California space. Um, right now I'm interning at a little de multifamily development company. It's more kind of a family shop, um, but we've been operating for 20 years. And so my boss, um, there's four people on our team. My boss got a master's at USC in real estate development. Uh, we have a grad student who took the master's last year. And then it's me and another um, student who is on his senior year, um, kind of a semester ahead of me also in the BRED program. So the four of us are all USC people, love cheering on the Trojans every time football season comes around. It's We always talk about that and give each other shit and stuff. But then at the same time, we know the same connections within Southern California for real estate. And my boss and the other grad student who have also gone through USC have helped me just kind of grow my personal connections and really develop as a person. Good. So, excuse my language. Sorry, you can <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> that, that's okay. I, I I think our audience can handle it. Um, so you know, we're, we're we're low on time. Let me finish up with this. And this is this is a question we we lob uh, to all of our uh, in, interviewees as part of this series. As you look back now on your last three four years studying real estate at, at one of the top you know real estate universities in the in the country in the world. Um, Think of what is one moment that was especially memorable, whether, whether it was an activity you did or a class or think of one moment that was especially impactful. Uh, start with John uh, first to you and then we'll, we'll finish with Nicholas. So oh, let's see. it's a hard question, but it's I hard. think I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back to um, one of the events we had. It was a networking event at Saddle Ranch. Um, it was for Tria. Um, I think we had UCLA, their grad program as well, um, go to Saddle Ranch. It was in Hollywood, just a restaurant. And it was just the most fun night because they had, um, so Saddle Ranch is more country bar. They had a uh, bowl, but it was all these real estate people just going out, not talking about work at all, just connecting. And I made so many friends out of that event that ended up graduating and going to all these different companies that now I have that connection to go out, reach and say, hey, how are you doing? And that opportunity helped me so much, um, just being able to meet these people. And so I'd say that's definitely been the most impactful event um, at my during my college years. Good, good, good example. And Nicholas, what about you? An impactful, uh, an impactful moment, event, quote, class, you name it, uh, over yeah. the last three or four years. So I briefly touched upon this as, you know, one of the classes that we take is, is product type focused. You can choose, you know, from residential, retail, um, and I think we have some more coming out soon, but, you know, I was in the retail class two semesters ago and the class is taught by, you know, a senior executive at the Caruso um, company, which is, you know, one of the LA's most preeminent 
uh, retail developers and, you know, they developed the Grove, these, these really well-known household brands. And sure. one of the components of the course is you get this incredible, like behind the scenes tour of their latest project, um, mm -hmm. almost as like a, you know, bonus credit opportunity, but you know, I'd pay to do it. So, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, you know, I think that was one of those times where I, you know, realized, and, you know, we had about 15, 16 people show up. It's on a weekend, so it's optional. But, um, you know, that was just one of those experiences where I was like, wow, like, you know, it's great to see such a community involved at, at USC. And, you know, people were so happy at the at the company at, you know, Caruso to see, you know, USC people. And we just felt like it was such a behind the scenes tour. And that's something that's, you know, really kind of, I feel like is, is in essence, like one of the most rewarding experiences at USC that you just get this behind the scenes look at, you know, so many things just by alumni connections and people who are just genuinely happy to, to you know, give their time. Sure. Well, that's a good one, Nicholas. And and John, Nicholas, appreciate your guys' time today. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, th this has been Thanks. very valuable. I'm sure those who who are looking at USC or considering studying real estate will 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 get a lot from your insights. Sam, kick it back to you. Yep. Uh, thanks once again, John, Nicholas, for coming today. This has been absolutely, this has been a fun deep dive. And thank you, uh, ACRE, ACRE readers. And thanks for checking out USC. Mm -hmm.